Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. You know what that means. We're talking market outlook. I want to take a look at this week and possibly the content that we could see during the preseason promo. I know a lot of you guys are not very impressed with this promo. FIFA seems like it is dying. I'm with you on that. I'm hoping that it changes though. And we'll, we'll talk about some ways possibly this week where we might see some change in that and we might see some actual hype come back because I feel like EA might be uh, kind of, you know, um, transitioning their content uh, right now based off of what games are happening this week in the Europa League and in the Champions League. And I feel like they might be basing some of their content on that the past week because of that. And uh, after we get towards... Uh, well, we'll talk about it in a second, but again, uh, there's a couple other things happening this week with probably some preseason content and some FIFA 21 information that is guaranteed to come out tomorrow on Tuesday. So we'll talk about that a little bit as well, what that means, what that is probably going to look like. Is it going to be hype? Probably not really. It's, it just looks like it's going to be one of those trailer informational release videos, and maybe they'll put out a web page as well. So we'll talk about that in a bit as well. First things first, though, it is Sunday. That means a little bit of weekend league sell-off. Uh, I'm taking a little peruse around the market at this time, and I'm really not seeing too much stuff being sold off. And that honestly is just reiterating the fact to me that just people in this game have bought their end game teams. They have bought the cards they want to buy. They're playing with them. They're using them. And uh, that's it. Like, honestly, I think a lot of people are starting to maybe get off of ultimate team even i've seen a lot of people even myself transition more into like career mode pro clubs or just entirely off of the game in general um and just kind of you know putting down fifa from where it is at right at this point right now but i'm really not seeing a lot of cards that are really down in price that much some cards of course are still in packs but it's so hard to pack like the very limited selection of cards that are right now able to be packed uh, it's just so hard to pack them. It's like De Bruyne, you know, he's down maybe a, a, a smidge. Uh, some of these guys might be down a slight bit from the weekend league sell-off. You know, we always see some guys. Uh, I traded with a lot of icons last week to hit my transfer profit goal. So I'm going to swing through and check some of those prices right now. I'm sure some of those are down. Those are some of the cards I would expect to see maybe a little bit more of a swing on. Um, some of these cards that a lot of people like to use, like this Rio was like 510, 520. There's a one for 485 that's still up. That doesn't give me a really good uh, range on that card, I guess. Let's check Prime Blanc. Prime Blanc is 370, so he's about the same price, honestly. I mean, just rolling through some of these icon prices, even these aren't really that low, or when I'm not seeing that much undercutting on these. Uh, Desai is down a little bit, maybe. A lot of these guys are just staying upwards in price. So let me check on Nedved. That was somebody who I was watching a decent amount last week. Moments Nedved in like or K range. He's back in the 400s, but just barely. So honestly, there's really not that much of a weekly sell-off from what I'm seeing right now. Just scrolling through a lot of these cards and what I had seen last week in prices. Uh, you know, some cards might be down a little bit, but honestly, not too much. I think a lot of just a lot of people are honestly just sitting on cards and uh, using the ones that they enjoy, and they're not really selling, right? Meradona's 1.09. Yep, that's about normal. He was like 980k last week, kind of back up from there, kind of stayed high over the weekend. So yeah, I'm really not seeing that much of a panic sale or weekend league sell off on that many cards just because I think people are kind of just, they're kind of done with like buying cards, buying players for their teams. They have what they need, they have what they want, and they're just rolling with it, maybe doing some objectives and maybe doing some SBCs uh, in foot as well. So there's not really that much of a weekend league sell off. I told you guys to watch out for these road to the finals because I do feel like they could have a jump in price later this week, depending on some of the cards that might get upgraded. You know, Anthony Martial, some of the Europa League games, which are being played on uh, Wednesday and Thursday of this week, those are the ones that I would keep an eye on first. Like uh, Martial and Man United play on Wednesday, actually. They play uh, against LASK. I can show you guys the games over here. Uh, we do have some games on Wednesday and Thursday of this week, so the, the Europa League does return. Uh, and we'll have some cards, like all the Roma cards that we have in Road to the Final. Uh, I think we have like, well, we have the Mkhitaryan SBC that is now a live item. But we've also got the Juan Jesus card. Um, is our Wolves playing? Our Wolves playing? Yes, Wolves play on Thursday against Olympiacos. So there's going to be some stuff to watch in terms of Europa League this week. Some cards are going to be getting upgraded based on if they continue on in the 
competition or not because we're going from the round of 16 leg two into the quarterfinal so these cards any europa league card if their team wins and goes through to the quarterfinal they will be getting an upgrade very very soon uh, so that's something to kind of watch again it's really tough to know if these cards will really rise that much again if it's a card that doesn't have a team in the season or if that road to the final is going to become the highest rated version of that card in the game then i would possibly say there's a a, a scenario where the, that card could go up but these are still live items so i do think people will start to buy them uh, upon the in game or the potential of that card getting boosted and again just like we talked about with Conte earlier in the week this is a card that I'm actually kind of afraid of, and I would recommend that if you have this card, I think you might want to sell it because Chelsea are down 3-0 on aggregate to uh, Bayern right now. This guy's dropped down a little bit today. He was like down, he's down like 15 to 20K from where he was. Uh, but this type of card could drop a lot more because if there's still people thinking that this is a live item, uh, they might sell it after the game uh, just because they know he's not going to get upgraded anymore. Hopefully people are smart enough in this game to realize that he should not get upgraded anymore because of them being down 3-0. Not saying Chelsea can't come back, but I'm just saying down 3-0 playing against Bayern Munich. The situation is not looking that likely. Now other guys like Militao, I feel like Militao and Real Madrid have a shot at possibly uh, pulling it off and heading through to the next round. Uh, other teams like, again, I talked about Dybala, right? Dybala and Juventus, they're matched up against Lyon, and I believe that game is either 1-1. One, one, wow, 160. It's a bit of an undercut there. Th this guy fluctuates a lot, man. Is this a fresh card? It's not a fresh card. It's second owner tradable. But if we go over here and look at uh, Dybala's graph, these cards are just still super-duper rare because they have not spent a lot of time in packs. He went down to 140 today, 172 at a max. Kind of down at 160 again. He was just at 180. So these cards fluctuate a lot. And if you can catch some open bids and if you can catch some undercuts like that 144 bid or the 154, that might not be a bad shout because this card would go to a 94, which would be equal to his team of the season. His team of the season card, yes, is, is basically the exact same price, which is crazy. And it has the upgraded weak foot. But of course, this would still be a live item that could then, if Juventus continue to win and continue to move forward in the Champions League, this item could actually go to a 95 after he goes for 94 if they can get past Lyon. So just something to kind of think about with these cards. You might see some some more movements with those. If you want to get risky with it, you can. The more the, the safer way to trade right now on this game would definitely just be to, to flip cards. Honestly, to buy and sell, to quick flip. Um, a lot of these cards, a lot of these icons. I mean, you can icon trade if you have 100,000 coins. I think icons are like 60K, honestly. You can icon trade for sure if you have that amount of coinage on you. Just because uh, a lot of these cards have gotten super duper cheap and it's it's honestly uh, ridiculous. Like a prime moment Stoichkov is like 450k I believe. 470. Whoa, hold up. We have a bid at 474 and undercut at 440. Uh, this looks very meaty to me. I'm going to just make sure that this his price is not really inflated right now at the moment. Uh, and making this price look higher than it actually should be. 482. Yeah, we're going to snag that. Thank you very much. Because if we go over and take a look at the graph, he was 440 at one point earlier today, but he's also hit points at 480. So I'm going to try to, to uh, cash this card out around the 480k range. I know it's a Sunday night and it maybe might be a little bit more risky, uh, but I will take my little bit of profit there that I can take. Uh, what is that going to be like? Maybe a 12, 13k profit-ish. Uh, yeah, somewhere in there. So I would take that profit right there if it does come home. Boom. Stuff like that is how you can be trading right now in this game, in my opinion. If you want to do some trading this week, that's the way to go. Flip the icons because they're rare. The moments are still desirable. And again, we have a moments SBC that is out right now. And that makes more people want to just go and look at those cards, I do believe. Just because they're trying to pack them as well. So if they can't pack them, they're just thinking about them. And that draws people to go and actually buy them as well. So just one thing to think about right there. The big thing about EA Sports FIFA this week is right here. Uh, this is the news from EA Sports FIFA. They're they're releasing the first uh, set of FIFA 21 features they're going to be talking about. It is going to be game play. So there's going to be an official gameplay trailer released on August 4th, which is Tuesday. Tuesday, I believe it is 11 a.m. Eastern time. So that would be 4 p.m. UK. 4 p.m. UK. 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific, whatever time zone that is for you, do the math. Uh, you are going to see a gameplay trailer 
from EA Sports on their YouTube page. So you go to their Twitter page, you can you can find it here, or just go to their YouTube channel. That video will go live there. Uh, honestly, what are we going to see from this? We're probably just going to see a video where, where they talk over uh, what they're going to be updating inside of FIFA. It's probably not going to be anything special. There's probably not going to be a lot of information. They're probably going to mention the new features and the stuff that they have changed. And it's probably going to be like a two, three, four, five minute video talking over some of those things, showcasing the new gameplay types, the new gameplay features that they're adding to the game. And then what they'll do after that is they'll also provide a link to a website where it will be all that information that was in the video and maybe a little bit more will be explained in a website format, uh, th the new items that they're going to be going for. If you go and click on the YouTube link, uh, it says in the description, get rewarded for your creativity and control with new gameplay features in FIFA 21. Uh, and are, does this link go anywhere? Hello? Ah, link invalid. So I guess this is going to be the link. Maybe that uh will be working when they uh on the street and in the stadium see what's doing fifa 21 so maybe there's they're going to talk about volta as well as a part of this video so yeah just keep uh keep this in mind it's going to be coming out on tuesday i'll probably talk about that on a video on this channel uh going over that fifa 21 related so that's like our fifa 21 content that's coming this week and again i mentioned before this could this summer heat content ramp up this week could we see a little bit of a ramping up in the summer heat content um, because on Saturday we had the pop or Sunday, we had the Pablo Sarabia, UC or UEFA champions league, UCL live road to the final item 94 rated. Of course, if PSG can make it to the final, this guy would go to a 98, I believe either a 97 or 98, depending on where PSG are at right now. I think it actually might go to a 97. I think that they would only get three upgrades, uh, because they don't have a playing game, right? Yeah, so PSG is already in the corner final. So this could go to a 97 rated card if they win the quarterfinal game, win the semifinal, and then win the final. He'd get a plus three if um, PSG win Champions League. This card looks kind of cool. Uh, it's it's an 82 and an 84 rated squad, I believe. So I'm probably going to be doing these just because they're live items for the club collecting possibility. Mkhitaryan as well. These guys have a couple days until they expire. Um, so that's something to kind of keep in mind. And I think the reason why I think we're not seeing that great of content right now, we're not getting repeatable SBCs and that sort of stuff is the EA way is prevailing here, but they also want to release these live cards and they want to put them out before the games actually start. I mean, if you think of it this way, they're not going to put out another live item most likely before the games actually start back up again. Uh, I mean, if you think about the other Road to the Final cards that were in packs earlier this year, those cards came out into the game before the group stages started um, because you kind of get those cards, get them in your team, then you watch the games, and then they upgrade after that. So that's why I think they've really been pushing out like the Ansu Fati. You had, of course, the Valverde SBC, the Sarabia, and the Mkhitaryan SBCs all available um, as upgradable live items. So that's why I think we might have seen some of that content earlier in the summer heat promo. So hopefully later this week, we see more grindable content because we had the 81 double plus. And if you, if they put out a repeatable tots pack that requires an 82 squad, I will be hitting that because I'll just do 82 to 88 upgrades and a couple 81 pluses. See if I can get super insane lucky pack a team of the year or team of the season and just craft those tots packs because that would be something that we could do in this stage of the game. Please, EA Sports, release that 90 plus tots pack that was 82 rated squad with 40 chemistry. That's all I'm asking for. Please put that back into the game, make it repeatable, and we would have a lot of fun uh, opening those packs. That'd be very fun, a way to just grind the content right now and have a lot of fun in FIFA. And you could also maybe put those tots cards into a prime or moments icon and craft that SBC as well. That would be the most insane thing if they did that. I don't think they're going to upgrade or change the cards that are in packs. I really don't. Uh, it says these cards are in packs for 39 days. So I don't think that's going to change. Uh, I don't think they're going to add cards into packs, although we would like to see that. I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. So that is a bit of an L. But that's kind of the market outlook this week, boys. I would expect to see um, probably, I think they have to put out some more repeatable uh, SBC content this week. Um, maybe another road to the final objective. Uh, objectives, there's probably not enough time for one of those. Maybe another SBC. And I would 1000% at some point this week, maybe since Mondays 
have been summer showdown days during the summer heat promo. Maybe we will see our first ever Champions League showdown SBC today on Monday um, and get potential cards there that could get boosted based off of the games that are happening on uh, Friday and on Saturday of this coming week. So we have Wednesday, Thursday, Europa League as per usual, and then Friday, Saturday, Champions League games. It's going to be a nice weekend and late week of football. It's going to be fun to follow, fun to watch. There's going to be market movements, so it's going to be interesting. The teams that win, teams that lose, those live items might move around in price a little bit. Just depends on the hype for the card and what the score and what the uh, aggregate score already is for some of those games. So that's the stuff to keep in mind this week, stuff to watch out for. And again, if you're trying to trade, SBC fodder has gotten kind of lower in price, but it's, I honestly think it's because there's really not that much hype right now in FIFA. So just continue to monitor the SBC prices, uh, the 83s, 84s, 85s, 86s even are dropping. I mean, they were 22K on Friday, Saturday. Now they're down to like 18, 19. Uh, I guess squad battle rewards has hit with those with some supply. So maybe... Uh, you see a pick back up on some of those cards. That might be a quick flip um, because right now it's looking like some of this fodder is actually down in price uh, after what it was in the past two days. But uh, after looking at some graphs, it looks like these guys really don't bounce around that much. So uh, maybe you want to look at some SBC fodder if you're into maybe some of that stuff. But um, just a chill week on FIFA, boys. Hopefully we get grindable, repeatable content and have some fun with some Champions League and Europa League gameplay affecting FIFA uh, later on this week. If you enjoyed the Market Outlook video today, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.